is it safe to use liquid de-icers on new asphalt? The short answer is generally yes. The slightly longer answer is generally yes, with a couple of caveats. There's no such thing as a perfect de-icer, in the sense of a product that will have absolutely no potential detrimental effects on pavement. The best that we can do is to balance the benefit the product is providing while managing its use in a way to minimize any detrimental effects. When it comes to effects on pavement, we are usually more concerned with concrete than we are with asphalt. If concrete's not properly made and cured, it can be very susceptible to damage by de-icers. Asphalt pavement, on the other hand, is typically much less sensitive to de-icer damage, but it's not completely immune to it. There are still a couple of ways that chemicals can interact with asphalt pavement, including increasing freeze-thaw stress and causing chemical reactions. One of the most common ways that de-icers will attack pavements is through freeze-thaw stress. Pavements are porous. They will absorb water. When the temperature drops, that water will freeze. Freezing water expands. And that expanding water will exert pressure on the surrounding pavement, causing stress, which can damage it over time. Now, de-icers work by lowering the freezing point of water. So if I add de-icers to my pavement, this lowers the freezing point of water in the pavement. And depending on how the temperature is changing, this can cause the pavement to go through more cycles of freezing and thawing, causing more stress. Usually, we are most concerned with freeze-thaw damage on marginal quality concrete, but asphalt's not completely immune to it. We are particularly concerned with freeze-thaw stress on new concrete. New concrete has not had sufficient time to completely cure or gain its maximum strength, and therefore can be more easily damaged by freezing and thawing. We generally don't have the same concern with new asphalt. Another way that de-icers can damage asphalt is by chemical reactions. The most studied chemical reactions on asphalt pavement are those from the acetate and formate de-icers. And this is because the acetates and formates are used widely for airport runway de-icing. And coinciding with their use, people noticed that there was some instances of increased damage on asphalt pavements. Subsequent studies indicated that there was indeed a chemical reaction going on that would soften the asphalt binder and could lead to stripping of the binder from aggregate in some situations. There have been fewer studies done on chlorides with asphalt. The studies that have been done indicate that the chlorides appear to be generally less reactive with the, the asphalt binder than the acetates and formates are, but even the chlorides will interact with the asphalt binder to some extent. Now, having said all that, the acetates and formates are still routinely used for runway de-icing. And of course, we have decades of experience using the chloride de-icers for highway de-icing with a great deal of confidence that we can use them with relatively little impact on the quality of the asphalt pavement. So in conclusion, the most commonly used liquid de-icers for highway use are our chloride brines, sodium chloride, calcium chloride, and magnesium chloride. Can we say that they are 100% safe and they will have absolutely zero detrimental effects on asphalt pavement? No, we can't go quite that far. But can we say that they have relatively small detrimental effects balanced with a large benefit? Yes, we can absolutely say that. So in a nutshell, the commonly used chloride de-icing liquids that are used for highway de-icing can be used on asphalt and on new asphalt with relatively low risk. I'm Dr. Scott, and I look forward to your next question.